when we measure, we round things. So in this case, we've got the width of a football pitch is measured as 50 metres to the nearest metre. So what that's telling us is it's been measured as 50 metres to the nearest metre. So the next one up was 51, the next one down was 49. So it's an, to the nearest metre, so that means it's closer to 50 than 49, and it's closer to 50 than 51. So the actual measurement isn't 50, it's somewhere in this range here. So if we're up to the upper bound, what's the biggest thing? We have to look halfway in here, and for the smallest thing it can be, it's halfway in here. So the upper bound for the width is 50.5 metres, and the lower bound for the width is 49.5 metres. So here we've got the length of a football pitch is measured as 100 metres to the nearest 5 metres. So it's been measured as 100 metres to the nearest 5. So the next one up is 105, and the next one down is 95. And so we know it's between halfway here and halfway here, so it's in that range. The upper bound, the biggest thing it can be, is halfway here, which is 102.5 metres. And the smallest thing it can be is halfway here, so 97.5 metres. The height of a book is measured as 20.32 centimetres to two decimal places. So it's been measured as 20.32. The next one up is 20.33, and the next one down is 20.31. So we're looking halfway here, halfway here. It's in there, it's in that range. So the upper bound, the biggest thing it can be, is halfway between these two, which is 20.325 centimetres. And the lowest thing it can be is halfway between these two, 20.315 centimetres. OK, the width of a field is measured as 107.3 metres to one decimal place. The length is measured as 58.91 metres to two decimal places. So they're asking for the upper bound of the area of the field this time. So the area is going to be length times width, length times width. But these numbers have been rounded, so we're not going to actually use these numbers. We're going to use the upper bound and the lower bound. So for the width, we put the upper bound. So it's been measured as 107.3. Well, that here 107.3 the next one up is 107.4 and the next one down is 107.2 so the upper bound is halfway here which is 107.35 meters and the lower bound upper lb is 107.25 107.25 meters for the length, we've got, so it's 58.91, the next one up is 58.92, the next one down 58.90. And we want the lower bound and the upper bound. So put lower bound, 58.905. Fifty eight point nine oh five meters and the upper bound fifty eight point nine one five meters. So then let's look at the area. The upper bound for the area is going to be the biggest width times the biggest length. So we're going to have to do one oh seven point three five, the upper bound for the width, times fifty eight point nine one five the upper bound for the length. We type that in the calculator. So 107.35 multiplied by 58.915. And that gives us 
6324.52525 and that is in meters squared. The lower bound, that's going to be the lowest width which was 107.25 multiplied by the lowest length which was 58.905. So then we type that in the calculator and that gives us 6317.56125 meters squared. So the actual area of the field is somewhere in between these two. So we've got the upper bound is this and the lower bound is this. Okay, a track is measured as 100 meters to the nearest meter. A runner takes 12.24 seconds to two decimal places to run the length of the track. What's the upper bound to the runner's speed? So the formula for speed is speed is distance over time. So speed is distance over time. So we've got the distance and the time here, but we need to work out the upper bound and the lower bound. So the track where can I write it? I'll write it here. So it's 100 metres. The next one up is 101. And the one down is 99. So we've got the lower bound is 99.5. And the upper bound is 100.5. And then we've got the time it took. So... 12.24, next one up is 12.25, next one down is 12.23. And then we've got a lower bound of 12.235 and the upper bound of 12.245. So then we look at the speed. So the upper bound for the speed. So we want the biggest distance. So 100.5 but we want the smallest time because if you divide by a smaller number you get a bigger answer so 12.235 and for the lower bound we want the smallest distance divide by the upper time and then we type them in the calculator so the first one is 100.5 over 12.235. This is 8.21. I'll just stick to two decimal places and it's in meters per second. Meters per second to 2 dp. And the other one is 8.13 meters per second to two decimal places. Okay, see if you can try this one. So you can have to work out the upper bound for the track, a lower bound for the track, upper bound for the time, lower bound for the time, and then work out the speed again, like the last one. So speed is distance over time. So we've got the track 3.2 kilometers. So it's 3.2. Next one down is 3.1. Next one up is 3.3. So we've got the lower bound as 3.15 and the upper bound is 3.25. Then we've got the time. So we have 95.52 two decimal places so the next one down is 95.51 and the next one up is 95.53 so that gives us a lower bound of 95.515 and an upper bound of 95.525 so the upper bound for the speed so we want the upper distance so the upper distance is 3.25 kilometers divided by the lower time. So 95.515. So then we type that in the calculator and that is 0 
three, four. So I'll do it to uh, three decimal places, and that's kilometers per second. So three dp. The lower bound for the speed, so that's the lower distance, 3.15, divided by the biggest time, 95.525. And that gives us 0 0.033 kilometers per second to 3 dp.